Here is velocity and speed in a nutshell. Velocity is the distance you travel over the time it took to travel that distance. For example, if you ran a hundred meter dash in ten seconds, then your velocity is a hundred meters over ten seconds. Both velocity, you always want to have the unit rate of the time it took and the distance you traveled. So instead of a hundred meters in ten seconds, it's ten meters in one second. There are two types of velocities. The first type of velocity is initial velocity, and initial velocity is the velocity of you in the current moment. Like at the start of the race, your velocity would be zero meters over zero seconds, but like halfway through the race, your initial velocity would be five meters over one second. So initial velocity is basically how fast you are going right now. The second type of velocity is called final velocity, and final velocity is basically the fastest velocity you will travel at. For say, while running the race, your initial velocity at the start may be one meter a second, and then it goes up to two point five meters a second, and then finally it reaches five meters a second, which is the fastest you will be traveling at. Five meters a second would be your final velocity, since it's the fastest you'll travel at. Now another aspect of velocity is called acceleration. Acceleration is the rate that something is increasing at, and the formula for acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity over time. For example, if you're traveling at one meter a second and your final velocity will be five meters a second, then you take five meters minus one meter to get four meters. Then you put that four meters over the time it took to get from one meter a second to five meter a second. So let's say it took you one second to travel at one meter a second to start traveling at five meter a second. That means that you will accelerate at four meters a second. Now this last part is not related to velocity, but I feel that it's really important to tell you guys. Net force is the total force acting on something. So let's say if I'm pushing a cube around, then the total force on it would be one, as we say one equals to one push. Now let's say you're pushing the box with a power of five newtons, and then someone else comes along and starts pushing the box with a power of ten newtons. Since ten is bigger than five, they will overpower you, and then all of a sudden the box will start moving backwards in the opposite direction that you want it to move in, and that means that the net force will now be negative one since it's moving backwards. Now let's say someone else comes along and starts helping you push the box at five newtons. Now both sides have an equal amount of newtons being exerted on the box, and that means that they are both equal, so they both cancel out, and now. The net force on the box is now zero since they both cancel out, and that is velocity and speed in a nutshell.